creating subtitles for your videos can be a real pain. It's time-consuming, difficult, and often requires you to have knowledge of multiple languages. But what if there was a better way? Submagic AI is a powerful AI tool that can help you create high-quality subtitles for your videos in just a few minutes. After watching how to use Submagic AI tutorial, you can transcribe your audio into text with incredible accuracy. Translate your subtitles into any language. Sync your subtitles with your video automatically, add emojis, and highlight keywords to make your subtitles more engaging. After watching this video, you will be able to learn exactly how to use Submagic AI. So without further delay, let's get started. First, we need to go to their website. I've put a link in the description so you can access it by clicking the link. As you can see, I'm on their homepage. It looks pretty good. So the first thing you need to do is get their paid plan. It's not free, but it's worth it. So don't waste time making your decision. As you can see, there are reels or shorts of Mr. Beast and other YouTubers with captions on them. So let's talk about pricing. I click on pricing and see that they have three plans, basic, pro, and agency. Choose the plan that's right for your videos or reels. You can check out the description and follow the link to get a discount on your purchase. All right, so now let's move on. There's an option to log in or sign up here. So if you don't have an account, click on sign up and sign in with Google or enter your email address in the section provided and create a password. But since I already have an account, I'll just log in here. I choose to sign in with Google. As always, after clicking on it, I need to choose my account. As you can see, I've chosen my account and now I'm on the dashboard. Basically here I have many videos that I've done before. You can see that it's empty when you first use it. So let's upload a video here by clicking on create. After that, we need to upload the video in the section. Remember, this only works for 916 aspect ratio, which is for shorts and reels basically. So let me upload the video file here. Now I've uploaded the video. We need to click the upload button to start uploading and creating subtitles for the video. As you can see, the video has started uploading. It will take a little bit, so be patient. Once the video is uploaded, it will start generating captions for our reel. Okay, so wait a bit. The captions are now complete and we're on the studio tab. Now we can customize the captions according to our preferences. First, you can review the subtitles to make sure they're correct. I think they look good, so I'm gonna skip that part for now. Let's talk about how to customize the style of the subtitles. Click on style and you'll see a variety of themes to choose from. For now, let's click on beast captions and then beast colors. Below, you can see that we can customize the color, size, position, and even the outline of the subtitle text for now. Let's increase the size to 40 and the position to 36 to center the subtitles. Let's also change the colors and see how it looks. I can change the first color to black, the second color to light green, and the third color to light pink. As you can see, the subtitles are still visible in the short. Sometimes we have to make mistakes in order to learn, so I might have to change the combinations a few more times to customize the subtitles perfectly. But for now, this looks good to me. You can customize the subtitles to your own needs as well. Now that we've customized the style of our subtitles, let's move on to the next option next to style, which is B-roll. Basically, if you're taking clips of a podcast, you can add B-rolls to your shorts. Let me show you how to do it. I'll click on it first. As you can see, it has different sections for adding B-roll footage. To add B-rolls, we need to click on the plus icon on each timeline and enter a keyword to search for footage to add. So let's do that. First, I'll click on the plus icon. Now we have the option of adding footage through Pexels, which is a free website to download stock footage and videos, as well as many other elements. It also has a paid option, but let's focus on the free version for now. Here we can type a keyword. Let's say I type in loss. As you can see, many relevant footages appear. I'll select this one and click on add. Now, let's move on to the next timeline and do the steps for the next ones as well. Don't forget to click on apply after each step. So let me click on the second one and do the same step. Here, I'll click on the plus icon and enter the main keyword for this timeline, which is rich. I'll type it in and press enter. As you can see, many stocks are available to use. Let's say I choose this one and click on apply. Now. Let's do this for the next one. But before that, have you subscribed to our channel yet? If not, hit that subscribe button now. Let me click on the plus icon again for this timeline and I'll type year, which is my main keyword for now. I'll press enter and again, we have many stocks available to use. Let me choose this one and click on apply. Now let me quickly click on the plus icon and type the keyword shock as an example. I'll select this footage and click on apply. Let me do this for the next one. 
I'll click on the plus icon and search for increase, but sometimes you won't find the exact footage and we don't have any option right now to upload our own footage. So let's choose this one and click on the apply button. Let's move on to the next one. I'll click on the plus icon here and search for day for example. In the footages, I'll choose this one and click on apply to move on to the next one. Don't skip any part of the video because I'll show you some additional steps that can be valuable. Let's click on the plus icon here. I can search for rich as an example. I'll choose this footage and click on apply. For the next one, I'll click on the plus icon here again and search for wow. After clicking enter, I'll choose this one and click on apply to move on to the next one. Let me click on the plus icon for it. I can search for upset and press enter. As you can see, the footage has appeared. Now let me click on this footage and click on apply and move on to the next one. For that, let me click on the plus icon and here I can search for no. I'll select this footage and click on apply. For the next one, I'll click on the plus icon again and search for talk. I'll press enter and select this footage and click on the apply button. Now let's click on the plus icon on this icon and add footage to it. I'm going to type in you and press enter. Now I can choose this footage and click apply. For the next one, I'll quickly click on the plus icon and there I can type stock in the search bar. I'll choose this footage and click apply to move on to the next one. Please don't skip any part of this video because I'm going through each step step by step. Don't worry, it's just for you. So stick with the video. There are many things you can't do after you watch the video again. So don't leave the video. So here for this one, I'll click on the plus icon and type OK. After pressing enter, I can choose this footage and click apply to move on to the next one. So for that, let me click on the plus icon here and there. I can search for after, for example. After pressing enter, I can choose this footage and click apply to move on to the next one. For this one, I'll click on the plus icon and there I can search for share market. Let's say here we go. Then I can choose this footage and click apply to proceed with the next one. For this one, let me click on the plus icon again. Here I can again click on the plus icon and for this last one I can search for survived and click apply to finish this b-roll step. Yeah, I can click on apply after choosing this footage. And yeah, we've done it. Now let's move on to the next part of this tutorial. So now we have added b-roll footage to our short. Here we have another option to get a description to put in our short video by clicking on this. It is generating the description and here it is. You can use it after uploading the video on YouTube or somewhere else. So now we have done almost everything. Now we can say, let's see how to download it. To download it, click on export. If you don't want to export it right now, maybe later, you can save it inside the Submagic dashboard for later by clicking on this save button. But let's say right now, I am going to download or export it right now. So I am going to click on export. As you can see, it has started exporting our video. It takes a little bit of time based on your internet speed. Yeah, here it is close to finished up. And yeah, it has downloaded. Now we have downloaded our video and it is saying, your video is ready to shine. Your video has been downloaded, and now it's time to review what we have made from it. One thing here that I can show you is some of the video, but because of copyright issues, I will mute it and just show you the footage to avoid a copyright claim. So as you can see, you can create a really good looking professional video with Mr. Beast subtitles on it. So let's recap so far that what we have done in this video. First, we learned how to upload a video and generate its subtitles which is automatically done by Submagic. Next, we learned how to customize the subtitle colors and appearance. We chose colors and covered everything in this part. Then, we learned how to add B-rolls instead of original footage over the same voice to make the video or short more engaging. We put footage on each part. And at the last, we learned how to export the ready video or short to upload it or save it to your computer. Let me give you two tips here first and foremost. Let's talk about a crucial tip for using Submagic effectively. If your video isn't already in the 916 ratio, you'll need to convert it. One easy way to do this is by using Canva. Begin by clicking on Create a Design, and from there, search for options like YouTube Shorts or Instagram Reels. Once you're in the editor, upload your footage or clips and adjust them to the 916 format. After that, click on the Share button to export it to your computer. Now, you have a video ready to use with Submagic A. The second tip to keep in mind is that you should only use your original content. Avoid copying famous clips from YouTube with millions of views directly. Instead, you can extract their scripts and add your voiceovers or i-generated voiceovers. Then, incorporate these clips into your video and include your branding. This way, you can steer clear of copyright claims while potentially making your content go viral. That's all for today's tutorial. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm always looking for ways to improve my content. So please leave your feedback in the comments below. 
What did you like about this video? What could I have done better? Do you have any topic suggestions for the next video? If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload a new video. That way, you'll never miss out on my latest and greatest content. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and family if you think they might enjoy it. The more people who see my videos, the more I can continue to create high quality content for you. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.